We're, we're going to do the test. Now, this is this is going to be like a serious thing. Like, like I don't I don't see people who have autism as like lesser people. It's like I'm going to answer these truthfully. Now, with that said, um, people are generally complex. There's many sides to any one opinion, so you may not agree with how I answer a question, but I would answer a question how I feel about myself. Okay. Um, so, bear in mind. I'm going to do my best here. I prefer to do things with others rather than on my own. No, I kind of like doing things on my own. So this is definitely agree. No, it's not that. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, okay. I prefer to do things the same way over and over again. Um, yeah. Not necessarily, but... Yeah, I like... I like the... I like consistency. If I try to imagine something, I find it very easy to create a picture in my mind. Yeah, this is very easy. I frequently get so strongly absorbed in one thing, I lose sight of other things. Yep, damn, this is not looking good right now. <laughs> okay. All right. I often notice small sounds when others do not. I mean, I have I have a pretty good sensitivity to just about everything, so it's it's more agree than disagree. When I'm reading a story, I can easily imagine what the characters might look like. Man, I don't know how to answer that. I don't really read anything. I am fascinated by dates. What? That word has like a lot of meanings. Like the fruit? I am fascinated by the fruit dates. It's like so fucking weird, but it's like so tasty. Is it like going out dates? It's probably not. So I like the calendar. Like the calendar. I don't know. Dates isn't time. Yeah, I don't give a shit about dates. In a social group, I can easily keep track of several different people's conversations. Nah, not really. I find social situations easy. Yeah, I find it pretty. I tend to notice details that others do not. Yeah, that's definitely agree. I would rather go to the library than go to a party. The fuck? I find making up stories easy. Not particularly easy, but it's not like that hard. More insanely good cards. <sighs> I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. Things are just not people. So people versus not people. I kind of like not people. But not exclusively. I tend to have very strong interests, which I get upset if I can't pursue. Yeah. I enjoy social chit-chat. Not really. It's not like horrible. It's not like pulling teeth. But typically I don't like enjoy it. When I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in edgewise. No, I'm I'm more of a listener, so that's like definitely not the case. I am fascinated by numbers. Yeah, numbers are cool. I mean, I, I like to do math problems in my head when I have time, but I don't really do that anymore because I don't have time for shit. You know, find like two numbers and multiply them or something. Fun. When I'm reading a story, again, don't really do that. I find it difficult to work out the character's intentions. I don't know how to answer this. My reading comprehension is shit, so I guess I'll slightly agree. Oh wait, this one. I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction. I don't particularly enjoy reading anything, so... Okay. I find it hard to make new friends. No, super easy. I know it's patterns and things all the time. Yep. I'd rather go to a theater than a museum. Oh, yeah. 
I frequently find that I don't know how to keep a conversation going. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it gets kind of weird. I usually concentrate more on the whole picture rather than the small details. Uh, no. No. I kind of like the small details. I'm not very good at remembering phone numbers. Oh, dude, I fucking suck at remembering phone numbers. I don't remember my own phone number. Like, after about two years of the same number, I'll, like, kind of remember it most of the time. I know how to tell if someone listening to me is getting bored. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. If they like, if they're like, uh-huh, 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 yep, mm-hmm, wow. I I know how it works, okay? I know. <laughs> when I talk on the phone, I'm not sure if it's my turn to speak. Yeah, dude, talking on the phone is, like, weird. I don't know what it is, but if I have a headset on, and I'm, like, talking over, like, Skype or something, and they're on a fucking phone... Then that's fine. But if I have like a phone stuck to my head, I find it like I'm I'm like under pressure to talk to people. I don't know. It feels weird. I don't like phones. Not for that purpose anyway. This is this is autism test. I'm often the last to understand the point of a joke. I'm, my my joke getting ability is not bad. I am good at social chit chat. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm kind of good at what, social. Depends. Yeah, not really. Okay, we'll go with not really. That's fine. People often tell me that I'm going on and on about the same thing. No, I actually really hate repeating myself. And that's because the drooling noobs. I have been traumatized by noobs in Hearthstone, guys. And I lost to noobs because they got ridiculously lucky. Got fucked over by noobs constantly. Total fucking noobs. People are noobs, but it's fine. Yet, drooling noobs will still win. I'm not upset about losing to a drooling noob like I had earlier many times. What?! Oh my god, that's so painful! This is the most painful thing I've ever experienced in Hearthstone. I'm, I'm literally losing to drooling noob right now. Drooling noob, you will literally drool over your opponent to death. Drooling noobs, you know, when you're at like fucking like zero and one or you're at like one and one and you get clobbered by one of these drooling morons it does feel pretty bad and I have lost so many drooling morons that it does actually get to me from time to time I know it's a little bit weird because some of you guys watch every moment of the stream and I've told some stories like eight times but like it's like eight times in like seven years. So, okay, get over yourselves. So wrong. Okay. I have to collect information about categories of things. What? Collect information? I enjoy social occasions. What is a social occasion? What is an occasion? What the hell is that? Oh, weddings and parties and shit? Yeah, not really. I'm not very good at remembering people's date of birth. Dude, I... I can't remember, like, my own date of birth sometimes. Like, when someone asks my date of birth, I have to think about it. I'm serious. I can't remember shit like this. Like, useless bits of information like this? I am so bad at this. Like, if there needs to be an extra category on this one. I find it very easy to play games with children that involve pretending. Not really anymore. I'm not I'm not much of a role player at all actually. Like I basically refuse to play GTA roleplay because it kinda sucks at roleplaying now. I know Hearthstone. Hearthstone, the joke guys. It's the joke. Okay. I know it's very funny. But no, seriously, I am not very good at this. But it's like the, the lowest one, okay? It's like the lowest one. All right. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty fair. 
I certainly ha I certainly do some things that are like out of the norm, and certainly my interests are a little bit out of the norm, but like a little bit out of the norm. I, I think this I think it's actually a pretty fair assessment. You agree? Yeah, Rania agrees. Contact a therapist. Oh, chat online with licensed therapist. <laughs> oh god. I think if I click that link and like we make fun of it, there's a good chance they'll sue me. There's a good chance of that. It's not it's it's a non-zero chance. <laughs> Cause th this is like these guys are gonna be people that try to be like serious and legitimate about their profession. Crip missed an opportunity to have us bet lettuce on his autism score. <laughs> Damn, dude, I did miss that. Like, I was an amazing recruiter for Exodus. I'm an amazing representative for my guild in Art of Conquest. I'm a, like, I'm a bad hustler. Right? Man, he doesn't believe in my diplomatic abilities. Okay. Prove you don't have autism by getting 12 wins. Why no? Like I said, it was a fair assessment, and Rania said it was a fair assessment. That's just that's just what it is. What do you mean? I don't I don't think of myself as a lesser person after te doing the test, guys. I'm sorry. I I'm mostly mostly um amused by the situation and people's comments for it. Like I I find this very funny. <laughs> IQ test? Nah, I did some IQ tests in the past, and they were super crap. Like, one of the IQ tests I did... It had fucking US history questions. Like, one of the questions was like, who was the 30th president of the United States? What the fuck does that have anything to do with how smart you are? As a Canadian, right? So, like, I failed just those questions, and I got, like, 132 IQ. Now I'm like, what the fuck? How can... What's that? Alright, so so then I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm going to retake the test and cheat on those answers. I retake the test, cheat on those answers, get 100%. And I got like 142 IQ. And apparently that's the most you can possibly get on that test. So like, I don't know. I lost immediate, fe um, immediate faith in online IQ tests. I think you voting strongly disagree at not liking to meet new people made the difference. Yeah, but I don't really care about meeting new people. Like, I know some people, their goal in life is to have as many friends as possible, and all they do is want to meet new people and, like, talk about their life on, like, a fucking tape recorder. Like, they go over the same shit again and again and again. Same crap. It's like, I'm this person. Oh, man, I'm going to college, and I'm taking these majors. Oh, boy. God, that fucking drives me crazy. I hate that shit. All right. Now, there's some people that are really cool and really fun to meet. Like, like most of the time, when I go to, like, you know, TwitchCon, BlizzCon, I hang out with, like, other streamers. I love that experience. It's awesome. Like, I told you guys, in this last TwitchCon, I I gained, like, serious new appreciation for, like, Amaz. It was, like, so much fun to hang out and do, like, random shit. Love that experience. Loved it. Right? But, like, the typical experience, I, I detest it. So, I don't know. I kind of went with a typical experience on that question. Oh yeah, and I liked the Maz a lot less after he cheated in the new expansion duel. But like, whatever. Fuck him. Alright, it's business. I get it. Whatever. But still. You get my point. 